how SS Sniper still has a platform is beyond me. And today we're looking at brand new evidence that further enforces the fact she shouldn't be on YouTube and is a danger to creators. I'm one of those lovely people that as soon as I get mad, they take out all their frustration. When I get mad, it's real quick. If you don't know Snipe Wolf, then good for you. You are winning at life because she is one of the most unbearable prey around. Snipe Wolf is best known for being the only creator on YouTube to stalk, harass, and dox another creator, being Jack's Films, to millions and get away with it. She docks Jack's Films address, his actual home address, putting a poll on Instagram first saying whether she should go to Jack's Films house, turning up to Jack's Films house, posting a picture of Jack's Films house address to her millions of fans, all because he criticized her lazy, brain-dead reaction content. For hundreds and hundreds of videos, she plays other people's TikToks and provides extremely base-level commentary. This dude is running sideways! If you want to support the original creators of the TikToks, uh, too bad? Because the only links you'll find in the description are all Sniper Wolf. And my favorite part is that half of the TikToks she includes either crop out the original username or just straight up don't have one. She then used ChatGPT to apologize with one of the most insincere apologies on all of YouTube. It was very obvious that Snipe Wolf and YouTube were behind the scenes talking because as soon as this apology came out, YouTube came out with their punishment. They said that Snipe Wolf was going to get a temporary monetization ban. What this really was, was a month off work for Snipe Wolf while all of this crazy drama blew over. Just complete and utter bullshit. Because now she is back making the exact same shite and is fully monetized again. I checked myself and I was greeted with adverts. Making millions. As if the whole Jack's film stalking, harassing, threatening, doxing thing just didn't even happen. YouTube, you really set a dangerous precedent there. Now the bar is if you dox, harass and stalk people... You're just going to get a little slap on the wrist. Maybe your monetization gets removed for a couple of weeks, but you'll be back making more money than ever very soon once all this drama's blown over. Basically, you're not going to get punished for it. I said it before, I'll say it again. If the roles were reversed and it was any other creator doing this to Sniper Wolf, I don't think they'd be around on the platform anymore. But this special treatment and double standard wasn't a surprise since she was YouTube's new golden girl. YouTube couldn't have picked a worse person to promote and be an ambassador if they tried. And today, with this new evidence, you're going to see even more why. If the whole doxing and stalking and harassing wasn't enough. Sniper Wolf has been exposed yet again by Nerd City, who uploaded a brand new video yesterday talking about an untold, very well kept secret about Sniper Wolf. I don't know how this is only just seen the light of day, but according to Nerd City, who's interviewing the victim and has numerous witnesses to this event, Sniper Wolf assaulted Azzyland at a Fortnite Pro-Am event. SS Sniper Wolf attacks women online who make her feel jealous. She also attacks them in person when they're just minding their own business. So Sniper Wolf was competing at this Fortnite event. It was like a celebrity influencer bit of a tournament. He was just dreadful and finished last. All said and done, her team finished tied for dead last with zero points. She got eliminated early in all three rounds of the tournament. In fact, she turned in such a poor performance that she barely appears on screen at all. In the entire 3.5 hour broadcast, blink and you would miss her. I know you're thinking, what, Snipe Wolf? The one who came up gaming, doing gaming videos, dropping all these crazy gameplays. So today I got my best flawless game ever and it's 156 to zero. How is she so bad at Fortnite? Surely that can't be real. Well because her boyfriend back in the day used to fake her gameplays while she just spewed diarrhea all over the camera. But yeah, I could have got more kills but I accidentally used my swarm at the end of the first round. And if you don't believe me or you never heard of that before, in a lawsuit between her now ex-boyfriend and Sniper Mouth, it says this. The concept behind Sniper Wolf YouTube channel was that Young, her ex-boyfriend, would play video games such as Call of Duty and or Metal Gear Rising Revengeance and record his gameplay. 
Young would then prepare a script for each recording for Shilesh, uh, Snipe Wolf, to read on camera while acting as though she was playing the recorded video game footage. Young made it clear to Snipe Wolf that the Snipe Wolf YouTube channel needed to be completely independent and separate from Snipe Wolf's prior Sexy Sexy Sniper YouTube channel due to the serious negative reputation Snipe Wolf had cultivated through the content on Sexy Sexy Sniper YouTube channel and also because the content was going to be entirely different and distinct. Absolutely nothing about Sniper Wolf is real. And it's funny that even back in the day when she was called Sexy Sexy Sniper and you're talking ages ago, even then her reputation was just so bad. Back to her finishing dead last at a gaming event, apparently she was so pissed that she couldn't crank soggy 90s on everyone that she started firstly screaming at her boyfriend. What many who were there did witness off camera was Sniper Wolf getting involved in altercations. The first of which was a screaming match with her partner Evan. He can't play for her live. <laughs> When I don't get my way, I, I scream, and I scream really loud. Sniper Wolf and the man who now claims to have been playing for her at home were observed to be furious with each other immediately after her last place finish. Which, you know, is just the start. It is then said, and as I've said before, backed up by multiple witnesses Nerd City has talked to, that she assaulted Aziland at the event. Wanna know a recap of what happened? Sure. Okay, so basically, uh... They were like in a circle and I was walking, I walked in the bathroom and then when I was walking back, I saw them and they're like, hey, Ozzy. And even go, and then I was like, it's not just there. And I'm like, oh, you know what? Just, just be nice. They just walk over and then I go into in there and I got really awkward. So I started like just say, telling an embarrassing story of myself. And uh, she just like is looking at me. She's silent and she's like, like angry. And then she like lunges at me. And I don't remember like exact details because it was just fucking terrifying in between and like pulled her off me and then they took her back into the room and then I was out there and they were like what the f was that <laughs> it was just like it was so oh yeah she was like oh yeah she was scram at me she's like a bunch of words I can't actually say on YouTube but the one sentence I can say is she goes you fake your gay plan and then charges towards me swinging Leah had to be physically pulled off of Azra and was dragged away screaming and clawing. Snipe Wolf can't even go to a fucking Fortnite event for little babies without causing beef and trying to assault someone. And it's even crazier because if you didn't watch Nerd City's last video, Aziland is someone that Snipe Wolf has been trying to copy and steal her identity on YouTube, copying Aziland relentlessly. Similarities between Azra and Leah just can't be helped but others were manufactured intentionally. Uh, more plants that I'm filling. A luscious, well taken care of plant. This is a mirror. And this is my favorite mirror. Finally got it and it doesn't really go with that. Aziland then details how every video that she did that performed well, Snipe Wolf would take and copy. Nerd City shows this through thumbnails and dates, clearly showing Aziland's videos were first, Snipe Wolf took her videos, the content, the ideas, the thumbnails, and copied Aziland. While trying to make out to her fans that Aziland is this horrible person trying to rip off Sniper Wolf. Your opinion on- Okay, let's talk about this person since a lot of people ask me about her. Does she copy me? And a lot of people think she is me. Today we're gonna be rating my lookalikes. Wait, hold up. These videos look familiar. I'm gonna have to give that one a five. <laughs> Sniper Wolf is certifiably insane. And you could say, well, Kavos, how do you know this is true, this story you've heard? And you're right, you know, I wasn't there. I don't know it for a fact. Third City, to me, is an extremely reliable creator, hasn't steered anyone wrong in the past, and is very trustworthy, so... For sure, I believe him when he says that he has witnesses to this event, Sniper Wolf assaulting Aziland, and they have confirmed it. But let's say there weren't any witnesses. Sniper Wolf in the past has previously been arrested for assault, 
and armed robbery. We have seen recently that if a creator just criticizes Sniper Wolf's horrible content, she is more than willing to show up to a creator's house, threaten them, dox their address to millions, all in a fit of rage because she couldn't handle a little bit of criticism while she's stealing people's content and making millions. Nerd City also shows in this video that she self-admittedly has like crazy anger issues. Fantasies of me like beating the shit out of them or like killing them and, and they'll just like feel so good. That as soon as I get mad, they take out all their frustration. When I get mad, it's real quick. When I get mad, I get really mad. I'm a very bad sport. If I lose, like I'll go ape shit or cry or attack people. I'll literally attack people. So yeah, I'm absolutely hedging my bets that this story is absolutely true. And you can take that to the fucking bank. So it's just wild that YouTube chose Sniper Wolf as its ambassador and are still very clearly supporting and covering Sniper Wolf's ass. You know, Sniper Wolf, who is willing to put a creator and their family in danger for making a video criticizing her. And on top of that, now we've learned that she's willing to inflict physical harm and danger herself to other creators for no reason how the hell is she still allowed on this platform how many creators does she have to put in danger before youtube go all right you, you just can't be here anymore you're clearly a danger you're clearly toxic you're ruining youtube as a community what more does she have to do because surely causing harm and danger to creators in real life is one of the worst things you can do. YouTube did not punish her at all. It was all for optics and there was never any true punishment for Sniper Wolf for what she did, which was so insane. It was one of the most insane things I have seen a creator do ever. Creators have been removed for so much less. I did love Jack's Film's comment on Nerd City's new video last night. Starting to think this SS Sniper person's a real jerk. Like the video right now if you agree and think Sniper Wolf should not be on YouTube. Comment your thoughts. I read all the comments. Subscribe. So much more content coming. And until next time, fuck off.